Sports. We're watching the Gulf of Mexico for a low chance for tropical development, plus extreme heat today. High temperature 95 at the airport. You can see some storms are indeed popping. And in these storms, locally heavy rain. In fact, in Slidell, we had some reports of a little bit of street flooding. So here is a look at the system we're watching. It's right there along the coast where you see that X and you're going, well, there's not much there. No, there isn't. It's this entire yellow area where you've got that 30 percent chance for tropical development. So what we have is a weak front that's basically dissipating. Very weak steering currents. That is the key because if you don't have any winds pushing the system one way or the other, it's going to hang out. And when it hangs out, you get that potential for locally heavy rain. And we've got the warm water and we do not have any wind shear to deal with. So as we look through the next few days, tomorrow I still see as a hot day with scattered storms, some rain in the morning, then firing up in the afternoon. You know the routine, right? And then Wednesday and Thursday, there is that risk to get locally heavy rain. As you look at your Wednesday along the coast at 9 o'clock, you've really got that rain increasing. 3 o'clock, it's across our area. 6 o'clock, also rain with the potential that it could linger into Thursday. So you've got to be aware, but it's going to depend on where it moves. If it stays to the east, hey, it's not going to be that bad. But you can check out your rain chances, and obviously Wednesday and Thursday are our concern days. But some models say we've got to watch this through Saturday. So the high today, 95, the average 91. And looking at your temperatures now, I mean, it's pretty miserable unless you've got some rain. Bogalusa, 94, feeling like 106. The airport, 95. Heat index, 105. The lakefront, 92 and the heat index 106. So here is a look at what's happening and you're thinking, oh, that must be it, right? No, that isn't it. It's really over here that we're watching where the X is. So we just have some lower pressure there, but we've got to look at other things. So you've got very warm water. We're in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees, and we're running much warmer than average, too. And then you've got this upper high to the north, and that would tend to steer things off to the west, but you've got this upper low, too, which could pull it a little bit more to the east. So steering currents are weak. We've got dry air in place right now. You can still get those strong storms. And aloft, the air is splitting. That helps things rise and helps get more storms developing. The winds aloft are weak. That is conducive to development. And then down here farther in the Gulf, hey, you got strong winds aloft, but it's not expected to move that way. So as you go into Tuesday, yes, we've got that low risk for heavy rain. Wednesday, more of a concern day. And then look at this rainfall that's forecast. This is for the next seven days could have 10 inches along the coast, possibly seven. Even into the metro, we're talking five to 10. And on the North Shore, it's possible you could have five inches. Now, if it's over seven days, not as bad. If it's in a couple of days, not good. Quick look at what's happening. Strong storms have been over here in Terrebonne Parish, pretty bad at the mouth of the river. You've got storms by Ugosh near Lafitte, also over Terrebonne. And then in the metro, look, by Desolomons, a thunderstorm, a little bit of rain, New Orleans East. This is a storm that moved through and caused that heavy rain in Slidell, but it was a quick mover. So your forecast, rain chances going up, temperatures going down, stay aware. Yeah, we better get ready all week. Thanks, Margaret, for that. Now to Washington, D.C.